Hello everyone, my name is Amber and welcome back to Phasmophobia. Today I am going to go over the sanity pills, one of the most crucial tools needed for your investigations. While playing Phasmophobia, your sanity is what directly controls your chances of getting paranormal activity. If your sanity is too high, the ghost might be very inactive. If your sanity gets too low, you're more likely to get hunted by the ghost. Sanity is drained by being in the dark, witnessing ghost interactions and events, and using cursed items. Because of this, you'll want a way to keep your sanity high to keep you out of hunting range, usually. This is where the sanity pills come in. Taking the pills will increase your sanity by a certain amount depending on the difficulty level you're playing on. On amateur, one bottle will raise your sanity by 40%. On intermediate, your sanity will be raised by 35%. On professional, 30%. And on Nightmare, assuming the pattern continues, one bottle will raise your sanity by 25%. It should be noted that you can take pills anytime you are below 95% sanity. So if you are at 92% on intermediate and take a sanity pill, you would essentially be throwing away 27% sanity gain. There is also a common misconception that ghosts will hunt based on individual sanity instead of average sanity when playing on multiplayer. However, it only goes off of average group sanity. So if someone inside the house has their sanity at 18%, but the person in the van is at 100% and the average is 62%, then the ghost will still not hunt, assuming it's not an early hunter. In this example, I stayed in the van while my teammate stayed in the house. We were dealing with a revenant, which can hunt at 50% sanity. Now, my teammate was clearly well below that threshold and still did not get hunted. Only when he reached 0% sanity and our average was fluctuating around 50% was the Revenant able to hunt. On Nightmare Mode, the sanity pills can also be very useful in helping you determine a rough idea of where your sanity was when the ghost either hunted or tried to hunt and used a crucifix. After being hunted, take as many sanity pills as the game will allow. If you only take one, your sanity was somewhere between 95% and 70%, meaning you for sure have an early hunter on your hands. If you can take two, your sanity could have been anywhere between 45% and 70%, which isn't a particularly useful range, as that could be an early hunter or just a normal ghost. If you can take three sanity pills, you know your sanity had to be in the 20 to 45% range, meaning you most likely are not dealing with a ghost that can early hunt. If you can take all four, you are at zero sanity, and it's a miracle you had not been hunted. Now this system is not always perfect. Sometimes an early hunting ghost will just be weirdly shy and it will not hunt you for much longer than it can. In this example, I was able to take three pills after the ghost finally tried to hunt me. Because of this, I made the call that I was not dealing with an early hunter, and therefore ruled out Raiju and Yokai. In the end, it turned out to be a Yokai that I just apparently didn't make enough noise to anger it into early hunting. However, it's more likely than not that an early hunting ghost will try to kill you before you fall below the 50% sanity threshold. So the sanity pills can provide you with invaluable information. And that'll do it for the sanity pills. I hope you found this guide useful, and if you did, go ahead and give it a like and subscribe for future Phasmophobia content. Happy hunting out there!